Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about the latest Red Dead Online update, everything that Rockstar has added, and more, as well as looking at some info from Rockstar Insiders that suggests that long-awaited summer update might be coming sooner rather than later. So Rockstar updated their newswire today where they discussed everything new in Red Dead Online this week, and there's a lot of really cool stuff going on. Not necessarily new content, but cool things are happening in-game. So the first thing Rockstar discusses is weapon discounts and independence bonuses. So they said, as a part of this week's celebratory festivities, merchants are pleased to offer free gun oil to ensure all your instruments of peacemaking are in tip-top shape. So literally, as you guys can see here, I went to the gunsmith and I just loaded up on gun oil. And I mean, why wouldn't you? It's free and you can carry a maximum of 20 of these in your satchel at a time. So if you haven't logged on to Red Dead Online, go to the gun store right now and get some gun oil. Like it's free. It's not even like a 50% discount, not 75% discount, totally free. So that means you'll be able to clean your guns and keep them in tip top shape for no cost all week long. They go on to say a weapon's looks and performance degrade over time from use and exposure to the elements, but a little gun oil will make them as good as new. Now, gunslingers and vigilant types alike would also be wise to take advantage of 30% off of all weapon components, including improved rifling to increase range and velocity, iron sights and scopes for better accuracy, stocks with various wood grains, and wraps to preserve your weapon from use and weather. So lots of discounts. So if you haven't been in the gunsmith store to customize any of your weapons or upgrade them, now might be the time to do so because you're gonna be getting 30% off of all of those. And on top of everything, if you have yet to pick up the Evans Repeater, it is going to be 25% off this week only. The Evans Repeater is one of the best weapons in the game. It has a huge ammo capacity, like you will not have to reload in the middle of a firefight, that's for sure. And you can make it pretty spiffy looking like I have done right now. So those are the discounts on weapons and firearms. Now, because this week Rockstar is celebrating Independence Day, the 4th of July is coming up. I know it was Canada's Independence Day earlier this week. Uh, Patriots can take advantage of 50% off of red, white, and blue bandanas. That's kind of nice. Plus free blue and red camp flags through the 8th of July. So I honestly wish Rockstar did more than just bandanas and camp flags, but it is a nice little start. But there are a ton of other red, white, and blue things in the game. Like, I wish they applied it to everything. Uh, like, pants, and shirts, and vests, and ponchos, and hats. Like, that would be so cool if you could just trick out your character in all this festive, patriotic attire. But for whatever reason, Rockstar only did bandanas and camp flags. Which, I guess is okay. It's just, I feel like there was so much more they could have done. Now, in addition to that... Rockstar also handing out some bonus money and XP for doing free row missions. They state, not all those who wander are lost. This week, those brave enough to traverse the five states in search of opportunity shall be rewarded handsomely with 30% more money and XP on all free row missions. So keep yourself on the straight and narrow pursuing gunslinger missions with respectable folks like Bonnie McFarlane, or get yourself mixed up in the shadier business with outlaw missions from Black Bell and more. So the free row missions are obviously very fun. Uh, and now you will get more money and XP for completing them. Now in addition to that, Rockstar have also introduced some Wheeler, Ross & Co. catalog add-ons. They have stated that the Wheeler, Ross & Co. catalog has a new limited supply item. The warm and woolly pelt half chaps as well as remaining stock of the Griffith chaps. Now elsewhere in the catalog, the sturdy Cromwell hat and the svelte Cabrera pants are both refined statement pieces that are sure to elevate your wardrobe. So Rockstar's added some new clothing items that you can pick up this week. And they've also added the new respectful bow greet. 
So they say put your best foot forward with strangers or make peace with even your most bitter rivals using the respectful bow emote free from the Wheeler, Ross & Co. catalog for this week only. So it's free for this week only. It'll probably cost money after that. So that is everything that is going on this week in Red Dead Online. It's sort of a normal event with a little bit of a mixture of like Independence Day combined with it. Overall, it's really cool. Nothing excitingly new other than, I guess, some of the new clothing items and the emotes. But it definitely looks as if there is some exciting new content coming to Red Dead Online soon. At a minimum, there's going to be a handful of rewards that Rockstar are going to be handing out. So the other day, I told you guys about the Twitch Prime social club uh, promotion that Rockstar is doing. Well, they're handing out a lot of stuff in Red Dead Online. Like right now, if you have participated in that, you can get $300. You can get the Superior Ammo Bundle, which will give you 30 Dynamite Arrows, 60 Incendiary Buckshot Ammo, 30 Volatile Fire Bottles, and 20 Express Ammo for Pistols, Revolvers, Repeaters, and Rifles. And that's just the first part of that promotion. Apparently, there is a lot more that is going to happen. So stay tuned for that is there are some incredible rewards. That's not just me making up that. That's literally what Rockstar says. Incredible rewards around upcoming future content arriving soon. So let's move on to the second part of what I want to discuss in this video today. And that is some things that Rockstar Insider Tez Funds 2 had to say. Now, typically, when we talk about his information, it has to do with GTA Online updates, but he actually mentioned Red Dead Online. So one of the things he was talking about is he's not sure how these Twitch Prime new promotions are going to work in Red Dead Online, because he believes that in order for this to occur, both of these modes will have to have a new update. Now, for GTA Online, that's a little bit easier because we're all expecting a summer casino update to arrive soon. But what about Red Dead Online? Tez Funds 2 stated he's not sure how it's going to work in Red Dead Online. Maybe they had it planned since the May update, or maybe they're going to release a new update. So this would be interesting. Now, if Rockstar did have this planned since the May update in Red Dead Online, like when we got the Evans Repeater and Poker and all that good stuff, then no problem. They've already got the code built into the game, so there isn't a whole lot to worry about. But if they haven't had this planned, then they would need a new Red Dead Online update in order for this to work. And we talked about this in my earlier GTA Online video that it looks like these rewards are going to start to roll out on July 19th, the final day that this is going to happen. So if that's the case, what would there be for Red Dead Online? If it's going to be exciting new content, you would think they would have to have a new update. Now, in theory, that works out great because Rockstar have already sort of teased the next update for Red Dead Online. That's going to be their summer update that's all about uh, choosing a various role and path for your character, like either being a bounty hunter or a trader or a collector. And like I said, if we were to just isolate Red Dead Online, that would make sense. But Rockstar have a difficult task at hand and that is balancing Red Dead Online and GTA Online updates. Rockstar has gone on record in the past saying that they don't want updates for both of these games to come out at the same time. They said in a perfect world, they would like to alternate things, having a GTA update, then a Red Dead Online update, and then going back and forth, back and forth. So in a perfect world, that's what they would like to do, but in this case, they might not have a choice. These updates might have to just come out at the same time. Now, that's also something I don't think Rockstar is afraid of because they've also gone on the record in the past saying that the success of something like GTA Online doesn't really have an effect on Red Dead Online and vice versa. Both games can be successful at the same time even if they're both getting new updates. Again, in a perfect world, I'm sure that's not exactly what Rockstar would want to do, but regardless, I think they could still make it work. Now, building off of that, Tez Funds 2 was asked, what's going on with Red Dead Online? And he said, I'm talking about how Rockstar is going to have exclusive discounts for Twitch Prime users working in Red Dead Online. I believe they would need a new Red Dead Online title update to add code that would manage such promotions unless they have done it with the May update. 
So that's the thing, is we don't really know what Rockstar did with the May update for Red Dead Online. It's a little bit harder to check since Red Dead Redemption 2 is not out on PC. So just something to keep in mind right there. Now, since we're on those topics of what those rewards are going to be, I'm trying to think about how it will function in Red Dead Online. Is it gonna be similar to kind of what we've already saw where Rockstar will just, you know, give us free items of things that are already in the game? Or are we going to see new content arrive where they will add bonuses and discounts on stuff like that? So it will definitely be interesting to see what Rockstar does over the next couple of weeks, over the next couple of months, uh, regarding not only these rewards, but what they do for the next update. As always, if new information does arrive on this, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So I would recommend subscribing to the channel if you guys are new, if you're interested in stuff like this. And if you wanna be the first one notified, I'd also recommend ringing that notification bell. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. So if you ring that bell, you'll be guaranteed to see when new videos arrive and you'll be the first one notified when new content and new information does come about. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. And as always, thank you guys all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.